Hello and konbanwa from Tokyo Stadium where we are set, ready to go for our last quarter final of the 2019 Rugby World Cup. And tonight is Japan and South Africa squaring off for the chance to play Wales in semi-final number two. It's been a beautiful day in Tokyo and conditions are perfect with a light breeze keeping the pitch hard and fast. The loser packs their bags. The winner advances to take on Wales in semi-final number two. South Africa looking to create World Cup history, becoming the only team to win a World Cup after dropping a pool game. They went down to New Zealand in their opener by 10 points. From there on, they clipped Namibia, Italy and Canada. Japan are yet to taste defeat in their home tournament. They believe, they believe big time. We'll have our anthems in just a second but first it'll be a moment's silence to recognize those lost following typhoon hagibus which sadly claimed the lives of 70 people the rugby world stands in solidarity with the people of we japan observe a moment of silence in solidarity with the people in japan following the widespread damage flooding and sadly loss of life caused by typhoon hagibus Thank you. The national anthems of Japan and South Africa.
So much emotion on the face there of the beast. Tendai, minimal rear up. Jamie Joseph has done all he can. On the other side of the coach's box, it's Rusty Erasmus who's given his final instructions. Kickoff just two minutes away. Okay, another final look at how these sides line up. It is an unchanged forward pack for Japan, Mark Williams. No doubt that will help them a ton against this big bruising box forward pack. Yeah, they need to step up to the plate. It's another level to the Scottish game last week for that Japanese pack. The power, the precision of this South African Bokka pack. That's where the arm wrestle is. 38-year-old Luke Thompson and James Moore in the locks were outstanding last week in the boiler room, and they're up against two of the best, the Nets, the best, and the Jaeger this evening. What a matchup we have. It's the precision and pace and skill of Japan up against the knockdown, drag them out. Muscle of the Springboks. There is a World Cup winner in the sands watching on. And it's Wapina, 95 winner. Can it a bit replicate what Pina did 24 years back? Our referee, Wayne Barnes, he has the privilege of directing them around the park in one of the biggest games in recent memory. South Africa, our fourth quarter-final of the 2019 Rugby World Cup in Japan, and it is the host nation getting creative early on and going up and almost coming down with it was Matsushima. Risky play from the kickoff, still with Japan. Good work in defence early on from South Africa. Inside and they will let that one hop into touch. No, An exciting couple of moments to get us rolling. I'm Sean Maloney alongside me. Okay, Welsh me. Test Centurion, Mark yeah. Williams, sideline. Yeah. New Zealand yeah. rugby legend, Carl Tanana. We're going to see this okay. all I mean, night long, yeah. aren't we, KT? Yeah, and I like it too from Japan, just trying to keep South Africa off balance with a little bit. But now this is the test. South Africa, do they go to the drive or do they give it out to the bat? Middle ball is good, they come down with it and keep it tight. It's collapsed off the line out, it won't go anywhere. Back and in the hands of Mbanambi. Mbanambi lays it back for De Clare. He looks to the skies and has the chase from Mpumpi. Now it comes and it runs into touch. Yeah, just getting a little bit feisty with Leach. Bonambi there. Good contest in the air for the ball. But that's good position from Fafta Klug. It's a perfectly Three. weighted Three. kick. Open. Great right. chase by Mpimpi. Matsushima gets his hand on the ball, but look at the follow-up. Okay, Great I'll hit. The intensity coming from the South Africans. And they'll put Japan under pressure, a set piece. Expect them to cut contest line up wise, but smart from Japan. Quick ball at the front. Horiet. Happy to put it through the hands. I was scogging the first. Handle and now they crash at midfield and look for options. Thompson distributes out the back and now it's risky. That looks to be forward and that's the call. We're heading back for the scrum. South African feed. Yes, advent adventurous from Japan playing from just outside their own 22. But watch, keep an eye on the light speed from South Africa. They come up very, very quickly. And Samura throws it a mile forward. Fafta Klug, you can see at the top of your screen. Keyed into Wayne Barnes in the first scrum of the evening. 
great attacking position for the South Africans. Coming to this game, making no secret of what they want to do. They want to scrum, they want to more, they want to run and be bruising the South African team. This is where they want to live. I'm not sure this is where Japan want to play the game. Slowly. Fascinating to see you, Shawnee, whether they Dwayne Vermeulen keeps Five. it at the back and they go for the second shove. Set. Whether they back the power, so much power and experience in that Springbok eat. To clear with the feed. They do just set they lock it down and try and inch it ahead. Looking to milk the penalty here, South Africa. Still well formed. Now the back it comes. Bullet pass okay. across it. Mapimpi. Mapimpi! Mark is on Mapimpi! He's a try! Scoring machine for South Africa. Perfect start for the South Africans. We talk about the power, the strength up front, but they've also got electric wings in this man, Mapimpi and Colby on the other wing. But it's they had the shove on in the pack. They were looking for the penalty, but it's miscontrolled. Fafta Cliff just gives it to Mapimpi one on one. And it's a really poor attempt of yeah. attack from. Tamura just got to make that tackle. You've got to slow him down. This man is electric, but he's gone too high. It's a non-existent tackle. KT is really poor defence from Japan. This is set up before the scrum, Martin. They know knew you Tamura was on that side defensively. He is suspect. That's why they went to the left. Fafta Click was always going that way. Mpimpi, he had a lot to do, and he finishes it well. Mpimpi. With a try, Pollard looking for the conversion. Pollard looking to draw it back. It's going to hang out to the right. It stays. I, I, I South Africa five. Japan get the score. Check and this, Makazo Mpimpi's fourth try in his last two games yeah. against Japan. It's a great finish. Give him half a yard. He's away, but it's poor defence. That man delighted exactly how he would have drawn it. Drawn it up at the start of the, the day. Quite the crowd down, get on top of Japan early, and they've done that. The spring box, they strike that one up the middle with the restart down towards the 22. Tackle, okay, but you go. Declare looking for runners, gets it to one of his two giant second rowers. It's a Beth with the carry, use it, and again, Declare. Booking it over the top. Japan with a chance now to try and hit back after conceding that early try down that near it's short fine. side. It's up. loose and out the back now, popped up well. Correa changes the point of attack. And away. Dummy and tackles. Equally good there from Umbanambi. They got it. Deep now. Forward weight. Yes. On it's a side. shallow up and under. And it's a good contest as well, still with Japan. Labasconi keeps it alive, and in comes Leach now. Leach. Doesn't he get the crowd involved? Nagare, just dinking it in behind, looking to catch LaRue out of position. He locks that one to touch, and an entertaining run of play comes to a close. Mind your South Africa. Yeah, a couple of high balls from Japan. Thought they were going to keep the ball in hand, but then that time, real contestable one. Didn't get much distance. Springboks, Phil Agave ends up in Japanese hands, and then probably a little bit of miscommunication. Nagari puts the chip okay, ahead, but no chases and allows Willy Laru to clear his lines. Good take off the top from the captain Leach. Now they put their backs to work, and in this. Channel out wide is Labaskogni. Just shy of the advantage line though. Nagari, rapid service in behind here from Tamura. Tamura looking to wait at the leech and it escapes his grasp and it's in a touch. Yeah, it's the second one, KT. It's obviously I something they've planned. Great hands from Labaskogni. Don't run in, run in late, okay? But I'm again, they've seen how fast the clerk. He's ended up on the wing twice on his own and it's obviously a tactic just to put the ball behind. 
Yeah. Just needed that to sit up just a tad more, KT. I oh, was on though, wasn't three. it? It was a nice bounce. Leeches away with a small man in front of him. They know the midfield hit, draw the defenders over, and they were caught short down. They were Holder. unlucky from Yutamura. Brought down by Diaga. Diaga looking to muscle his team up the park. He backs into the Japanese mall. All 205 centimetres of him. Doing a good job as well. They creep up towards halfway. Declare at the back. Not interested in taking possession just yet. Play on down by now it collapses. On they go, swinging their back line. In a play here. LaRue across for Mpimpi. Mpimpi already has one. Mpimpi bouncing his way into the defence and doing a good job to hang on. It's good, quick. Ball here for South Africa, Declare. Chasing runners, they've got plenty out wide. Can they shift it? Exhibit punches it on, but it's ripped away by Japan. Opportunity burnt for the men in the green and gold. Japan, they'll be happy to swing it straight back through the counter. The grubber ahead is good and the bounce is awful. They were screaming through. Pouring through, the bounce got ugly, lock on is the call. It's complete chaos out there at the moment, Sean. Very, very rarely will you see this. Eben Etzebe stripped of the ball. Please, James Moore gets his hands on it, strips free into the Japanese hands and they're away. Smart little kick from Lafayette, just again doesn't sit down for Fukuoka. And then it's 50-50, he stepped the toy just... Completely wipes out Willie LaRue on the floor. And in all the carnage. Oh, look at that. Three from LaRue. Cops one in the chops from his teammate. But it's frantic, and that's what yeah, Japan nice would have fight. wanted. Since the early try, they responded really well, KT. Yeah, I like the conflicting styles in this game. We've already seen the power package from South Africa, but the stick and move approach from this yeah, Japanese team has worked for them so far. Player. Probably. Playing South Africa is the perfect team to do that, where they move their big four pack around. It hasn't worked on a couple of occasions, but they've exposed the South African team, especially out wide, so that it is the right game plan. Carlton, can I ask Everyone you, okay? your sideline, is the breeze okay? favouring oh, either of these two teams? We've seen a couple of those kicks kind of hang in the air. Anyone at an advantage in this first half? Not really, it's quite swirly, because there's no roof in it. The way it's built here at Ajinomoto doesn't really favour either one at the moment. It's not going to be too much of an effect that I don't think. OK, I'll be louder. Someone else has said that. Yeah, it looks like Lava Shagney. Uh, yeah, I've just said... Shagney is going to be fine to, be to continue. OK, and I've just asked to make sure that there's He's not too big a lead. He's been an important player. OK, on by. I'm just Top tackler for this Japanese lead. team throughout this World Cup. Real workhorse. Good, you're right. He's playing against the country of his yeah, birth as well in South Africa. Through. But there's a possession. That's exactly what... Japan would want, you need to keep the ball Same away from the South Africans. Yeah. Okay. We looked dangerous behind. Yeah. Yeah. And they've had the ball attacking. Yeah. No, no, closer. Thank you. Height. 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 The first scrum was a powerful Ouch. one from South Africa. Fine. It's a good engagement. They kept it locked in as long as they could. The first time round, and they look for the repeat here. Japan holds strong for the moment. Now it forces Declare to clear it. Pollard to the air. Colby, he can't compete, but he can get over the ball very nearly, forcing the turnover. It's frenetic from Japan. That's ugly. That's real ugly. This is going to take a further look. It's Mineral Rira in his 100th starting game for South Africa. OK, over to Mr Barnes and the TMO. Mineral Rira, he's gone. Yeah, he's straight with the yellow, no review. He was right in front of Wayne Barnes and he's taken her upon his own onus, which is good to see, actually. Fantastic hit. 
and then he just do, does too much, just lands on his elbow first. Just if you see the first point of contact, the ball left hand, very, very lucky that he doesn't land on his head. Start with. Start with. He knows all that experience. He's a lucky man. Wayne Barnes feels his doesn't need to refer it to the TMO right in front of him. Front of you, okay. I just think Thanks, fellas, not for the getting fact him that the ball carrying arm has okay. just touched the floor first to save that man. Behind the horizontal. A real early bath instead of just 10 minutes. This is probably what South Africa exactly don't want. They don't want to let the crowd get this Japanese team in the yellow card. Obviously, the, yeah, the body language is a lot more positive from Japan. Good scrum for them, too. Okay, two and two. Okay, it's 15 on 14 for the next 10 minutes. Gaps, please, Green. Keep the gap. Tendai, middle Off the park, following that dangerous tackle, the foul play, and Horia comes in. His line out throwing has been excellent through the pool stages. They go to the back. It's Leach going up and not coming down with it. Knocked on there by Minambi. So it's play on with Japan. Nice pass across the park there from Nakamura. Tamura. It's bobbled and now Here lost again. Finish. And we will come back, will we? No, it's still with. Japan we now will come back for the knock on. We'll take from it here, we can take it over here. We'll South we'll Africa. A couple of ricochets there. Fortunate for Japan. Knock Brilliant contest. Andre. From Lou De Jager defensively the line out to nah, snatch the ball, but it knocked on, as you say, Shawnee by. Scrum. What stop? But now we're going to need a Grubber through ricochets to land. To land and they're obviously going to have to make a replacement now. One of the back rowers. Okay. And usually the skipper's going off. Can you say? Yeah, Kitsov coming on for South Africa. So, yeah, Kitsov to the side. side Kitsov up. Scrum. Really good height, really good contest. Great scrum. Still back themselves, yeah, South Africa, even with seven men at scrum time. And you've got quality like Kitsov to come off the bench. Real power. Expect to plan to get this ball in and out of the scrum as quickly as possible and unleash this back line. Yeah, the back line's very flat, you can see okay. the makeup of this Japanese Get team. Nafaeli as as hasn't had his hands on the ball as yet, but he's a very good player. We just see Mafi coming on. Plays another shot. I think it might be a HIA. HIA, 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 yes. HIA yeah. Coming sideline from Carl Tanana. Mark Williams is really good on your ball. up really in the box. Ball, I'm sure Maloney and it is and great to have you with us. Really nice, eh? Okay, now let's go. Just to the left. Final, quarter final here at Tokyo Stadium. Nice and slow. The early strike with the way of South Africa through Makazoli Mupimpi. Diagra and Etebeth have to work hard at scrum time here. Police off. Set! With Minabarira Sinbi. They got it, feeds. Yes. It's Messi at the back, forces him to hit reverse, and now Declare with a great defensive read. Grabs the intercept, Pollard. Thompson with a tackle. Not many get past. Luke Thompson with Japan. And use it! Slowing it up now and trying to control the tempo down a man, Declare. Colby again, can't take. And away. We got it. Fighting hard for Himeno. Carried beautifully in that win against Scotland. This time around, they drop him. We got it. Look for the box and now brings it across the park and they set up Leach again. He goes oh, up and the contest First is okay. Green, then by Ray. Knocked on is a call First against LaRue. So again, they work Leach yeah, on the fringes no, with a cross field kick, and this time round, they right. get a result. Yeah, perfect. Very, lots of aerial. Yeah, I agree. Seen those given against Leach for taking the man out in the air. I think he's been pretty yeah, lucky scrum, for you, Leach. Knocked on by Green, then by Red, so scrum green. Uh, red. 
But it's a good kick, it's right on the button. Got to be brave, haven't you, KT, in those aerial battles? Men flying at you. Can end up in all Lots sorts of, of shapes. Ass, oh, yeah, Willie the Rue would have felt like an H for their ball to come really down. Good. I'm with you, I think Leach is pretty lucky there. I know both players had eyes on the ball, but he didn't have a realistic chance of getting that ball. Just a real smart bit of play earlier on from Faf de Klerk. Just reading the play, intercepting the ball. Such a smart player, he's not the biggest of men, but he just gets around the park so quickly, makes his tackles. Real heartbeat to this South African team. It's a bit back up on his feet. Okay, first knock on the air by Green. Goes past. Brad the spring box great. Bucky's Boyder as the second most cap lock of all time in South Africa. And I know that he'll reach Victor Matfield, but he'll try. Uh, I'll have a look at it. I'll see if it's an issue. Right, some player, isn't he? That's a bet. You look at the four second or two second rows on okay. the bench. RG Snyman, Franco Mortstab will get in most international teams, so they have got just an array and options in that pack. Nice and slow. Good Japanese pack have held up pretty well so far. Slow, slowly, crouch, by set. The feed is good. And I got it. Nice and flat. Now lost, but still with South Africa, and it finds their live wire. Matsushima. That's a big tackle from Mount Herb. Still looking to shift the point of attack here, taken there by Lafayette. Thompson angling across the park. Nagare. Skip pass out the back. Horia. Not now, don't go in that South Africa. Really the ball. decoy. There it is. To Mura, dangerous ball, but now there's some room out to the left. Lovely hands across the park to the live wire, to the floor. Fukuoka, Fukuoka still going. 20 away, great yeah, got back to release and bounces to his feet once more. Still with Japan. South Africa number one, nicely now they straighten. And Benambi with a key tackle. On they go through Horia. Punching Hatumura. The crowd rides him. The ball on the inside. It's good. So is the shot from Vermeulen. Leach. Leach. Dunning. Whooping on some feet here. They got it. Now they shift the point again. They look back towards the right and get a couple of metres closer. Thompson, run off. Shapes the pass, he's a touch isolated here. They'll do well to hang on. Delande over the top and wins the penalty. Number three. Right. Take about both teams. It's brilliant attacking play from that man again. Kenke Fukuyoka on the left hand wing. He stems up Kobe, gets away. Brilliant cover tap, I think it was Delande. And then some of the ferocity that hits, Dwayne Vermeulen. Here we go, here's the play, Hollywood from okay, Lafayette, we've seen it all tournament. Get on the outside, this is the break again, the line speed just gets the outside. Here he goes, stops and stutters, inside, outside of Kobe and he's away. Great cover defence, so you've got to say the work rate of South Africa is superb. And they win the penalty under their sticks. That was a booming shot from Wayne Vermeulen. I've stopped the watch, Michael. Let's take a look at this. Let's Bam. go, please. Yamanaka just stopped the momentum for a split second, which allowed South Africa to regroup. Good low tackle. The land is over meters, the ball. please, receivers. A penalise there. Jiwon Kouf just coming in from the side, so an opportunity to go back in for the Japanese, and they know it. Benambi. Good throw to the middle. Diaga down with it. Now Bongi Umbanambi at the back. Once! Edging ahead. Declare. Shell again with the box kick. Mpimpi goes through and he's outlet by Matsushima. 
Onside, onside. Tamura, again. They go out wide left. Shot headed in that direction. Midfield, and now they punch it a little closer. It's rapid fire stuff from Japan. They're asking questions in and around. Leach, Leach, good offload from the captain. Again, though, Delenda over the top. Looking for the seal, doesn't get it this time. Nagata. Yeah, good discipline, thank you. Tamura. Why they just shifted across the park. Really looking to no, you've lost. You've work lost over like Ches and Colby on that far lost. side. They're really getting some pay again happen. in terms of meters gain. Shuffled off from Inagaki. Still going here, Japan, and now they knock on. They do knock on, but they're asking serious questions of this South African defence. Attacking both sides of the rucks, getting the offloads away. Brilliant take, eyes on the ball, Matsushima. What's the win? Wins the aerial battle, really the set Japan listening. off on another attack. And they're a handful, they really are. Yamanaka at 15, fantastic we've ball in hand runner. Loose play. We've had a talk about it. We don't think there's been a clear... They've been tested South Africa, KT. Okay. Yep. 100% and they've gone down. It's a bit, once again, they're really starting to struggle with the pace of this game, the movement that Japan are bringing South Africa. But just on fifth or sixth phase, situations like that just need to have a bit more clarity and what they're trying to do there, Yutamura just forcing the pass. It seems they're getting rushed in that six, seven, eight phase. Just need to keep their heads. Thanks, yeah, thanks. Look at this, tackles mate. 48 <laughs> to 10, sword, controlling Great. the ball. Close. The Japanese had all the possession yeah. in this first 70 minutes, but they find so themselves down on the scoreboard. It is where it really counts. They're hanging on, South Africa. Been really tested. Japan okay, we found themselves balance. down Africa, by seven score. last week against Scotland. It worried them not. They just went on a try-scoring blitz before holding on late to run out seven-point winners. So this one oh, traveled them down all. Nice you go back to the Ireland game, they were 12 really points to three down really as well. Good. This Japanese team will back themselves. Backing themselves as one of the fittest in the tournament. On the flip side, South Africa haven't really had a test since that opening weekend. They're not as battle-hardened as Japan. It's a real Bye. test for these spring box. Set. Interesting setup here for okay, South Africa too. Andre Pollard's gone to the right hand side. Willie LaRue's the first receiver okay. on the left. Let's go. Reset. First one on the floor. And only a couple of minutes left for the yellow card as well. So South Africa, you have to say scramble. Well, no we'll points as yet. Okay, just a bit higher. Make sure that height's good. Yeah, that man, we haven't seen him in ball in hand yet. Love to see him make, make something happen out of nothing, like his opposite. Patient. Winger Fukuoka to electric players. Bind. Set. Good way from Japan at the scrum, looking for the penalty and getting it. for a scrum penalty alone. Oh, incredible scenes, unbelievable scenes. Obviously oh, down well. to seven men in the scrum South Africa, but you back them all day to win the ball, but it just gets stuck. The strike, not a clean one, just gets stuck on the second, second shove. Comes from the Japanese. And what a penalty, what a reaction from this. Tokyo Stadium crowd, incredible scenes. Lost the loudest chair all night, and just think about the confidence Japan get off that. Oh, yeah, get it up, yeah, says G1 Ku. <laughs> South Africa will be back up to their 15 after the penalty attempt as well. Amanaki Mafi, he is fired up, locking that one down and helping to 
give Tamura a chance at opening the account. Yu Tamura, the leading point scorer of the 2019 Rugby World Cup through the pool rounds. Chance here to tick past 50. Tamura to reduce the deficit to just two. Tamura. Three is the score. Yeah, it's been a great response from Japan as they went behind early in the Pimpy's try. Control the pill, control possession, and territory come away with three points. As KT sets South Africa back up to 15. I expect the response from these guys. Oh, well. Whenever you're ready. Pollard. Deep with a restart. Japan this time around, happy to return by the boot as well. Pollard again. Oscar Lotus load of scoop that one up from LaRue. Now LaRue goes off in pursuit. Japan strong with the leap. Horia, lovely ball off the hip. Connected with Nagare on the wraparound. Thompson. Alternating the angles of attack here, Japan. So happy to go ball in hand. Nice stop shot from Lucanio Arm. He's a terrific defender and he got all inside. the run on that occasion. Nagare. Back inside the 22 now, Horia. In reverse at the moment, Japan. So they clear via the boot and that Always one in. is Always two in. touch. Always in. Yeah, South African players asking if the ball had been taken back into the 22, but it hadn't. It'd been a ruck occurred, so Tamura allowed to put the ball straight off the park. They win in the aerial battle, Japan. You would have backed South Africa when the ball went aerial, they'd command the air, but they've done really well, Japan, in receiving high balls and chasing their own kicks okay, as well. You yeah, just saw Mafi taking his leg and all of his cutting, obviously passes HIA taste, and Jews you never see them back off in Japan. <laughs> 100% line up to South Africa in this World Cup. Haven't lost one, expect the catch and drive again. This South African juggernaut pack. Vermeulen pulled it down. It's well formed. Umbanambi. Gets the start tonight ahead of Malcolm Marks. It's patient work from South Africa. Faf de Clare. Looking up. Chasing some space and now peels away with it. Downland that kicks out of one, then runs into Lucanio Am and now steamrolls his way forward, but it's lost forward. Drop ball. Japan, hold on. That's the point of the game, isn't it, from South Africa? Just as I mentioned, 100% line out, just creeping forward, inch by inch. Great carry from Delande initially bounces through the Japanese defence, but then just on the second carry, grow power, keeps his legs pumping. What's got, please? That's brave from Matsushima, makes a ball and all tackle and forces Delandi into the spill. Just yeah, a real on, contrast, man. isn't it, in the first 20 minutes, as we expected. It's yeah. the power game of South Africa, the chaos from the Japanese. They do look dangerous, South Africa, when they do get ball, and when they're inside the Japanese 22. Carlton, I know that you walk the field pre-game. There's no real moisture that's settled on, has there? The wind seems to have kept it nice and dry. No, it's absolutely brilliant. Surface here tonight. Shawnee, it's not cutting up whatsoever. I wouldn't mind. I know South Africa got the power game in mind, okay, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't see them giving it a bit wide up. You haven't even seen the ball in the hands of Chester and Colby. We know how electric he is. Um, as well yeah, in attack, he hasn't he had any opportunities, we know they're very dangerous out. here, but maybe just trying to wear Japan down initially, they've got some backs that can fire as well, so there we go. Slow. Crouch. Bind. Set. 
Free kick. Free kick, Japan to go. Goes quick. And now they keep it alive for Matsushima. But Pimpy guides him towards the touch line for Mule and gets back and go. gives him a hand. Back. Okay. Nagare. Tamura. Nakamura. Lovely flat pass. Wide now for Leach again in the far channel. And it's a lovely offload back in field as well. It all Fine. began 20 from their own line. Lovely skills taking the host nation up over halfway. Look to be up real quick there on the outside, did Lucano Am. Now by Yo. Declare certainly creeping up. There's the penalty. He won, Couldn't he help himself. And the adventurous play brings huge reward up the park for Japan. Oh, it's high risk, high reward, and it's brilliant play from Japan. They're back in their fitness, but more importantly, they're back in their skills. Yeah, Had the yeah, free kick from the scrum. Yeah, that man again, Yamanaka, the 15's been involved. They keep the ball, they get numbers to the contact area. Recycle the ball. Watch this ball okay. here. I think it's Yamanaka again. Brilliant to the outside. Leach hugs that touch line. Keeps the ball alive. And this is even the second row, James Moore. Back doors, Sonny Belesque. And forcing Fat the Clerk just to creep forward half a yard. And they're under the pump, KT. Well, the longer they keep it close here, Japan, the more they're starting to believe and the more they're trying to throw those passes and it's going to start sticking at some stage. So here's an opportunity for them now. Deep in the South Africa 22 line-out time. The great point you make, Carlton Anna. Michael Leach said of South Africa, they look scary at the start of the week, but that fear gradually fades and confidence rises as they work on ways to try and combat. Keep up, please. The two-time World Cup winners. Full line out. They're in the right in the town here in Japan. Takes good. No competition at the top from South Africa. And now it's bobbled they up and the then brought in beautifully. Just accidentally offside from By Del Linde. Linde. And then he went for the miracle 30. pass off the deck. That missed the target. So Japan will get another go at it. And here's another look at it. I just need to be patient. Palm on the has gumbo. Uh, he's done brilliantly to regather. Then yeah, tries the audacious flick while he's on the floor. If the coach is just saying, keep hold of that, recycle and clear our lines. And it's just bobbled free well, and given Japan 13, a scrum by that. So nearly a try either way. Red ball. Fifth handball. Let's get back to that discipline. Nice yeah, and was slow, rather. wait for the ball. Yeah, he read it well, and very nearly <laughs> pulled it in. And if he had it connected, it suggests that Thakur were away at the other end of the park. Adding to the lone try, Matazoli Mupimpi. Fukuoka Five. about to feed the scrum too. Shawnee looked for some speed off the bat. Stay behind the ball, please. I'll keep you guessing the all the way through. Here he is. Fukuoka, Fukuoka distributes well across to Matsushima, the twin turbos lost forward. in concert. Was that lost forward? It's with South Africa. LaRue looks up, spins it wide across his sticks. South so Africa not advantage getting a touch of Japan about them for a moment. Risky play, and now Just they like, go the more conventional way. Pollard back. Advantage and knocks it to touch. Yeah, a bit of confusion then. The whole, every, I think everybody thought it stopped. They tried to get Matsushima one on one with Pimpy, but it's great defence. But the South African left winger brings it down, strips the ball, doesn't go into touch. And South Africa yeah. chancing their arm on their own line. You keep but that again, then, they just can't get the ball on that. Hands on the ball, South Africa. Possession stats. All Japan in this first 26 minutes. Oh, yeah, to Leach. Nakamura. Nagare. Labushkogni. Back after the HIA check. Thompson. Nice ball, and again, it's Nakamura chiming in and getting some decent meters there as well. Let Nagare, him go, back quick. Go, both of you. Up off the floor, the defence is excellent though, that time round, he's Koo! Juwon Koo! Inagaki distributing. Nagato. Nothing happening out this way. 
Not... That's a tackle, away you go, all players. So Japan settled. Now they load up back to the left. Thompson, a 38-year-old, pops it up. Still bouncing oh, forward here, Japan. Not 12. Dalende called out of that one. Leach, no look ball wide. Back in field it comes, Khaleesi grabs it, he goes back to Japan. It's madness from both sides. It's not so rugby, but still with the home team on the 22. Horia. Don't touch the line. Nagare. Tamura. Oh, we're coming back. Four passes the call there. From Twan was forward. Four passes the call on you, Tamura. Oh, you've got to give South Africans huge credit for this defence. Been asked so many questions. Good tackle from Colby. Okay, Police is getting involved, throwing offloads, and then what's the line speed coming up? Well, as a staying connected, South Africa just forced okay, Japan into the forward. Pass from Tamura. Just brilliant defence from the South Africans. Kaltanana, what about the mix-up? of game plans that that man has created for this team. I mean, you've got the far winger on that last scrum, Kinky Fukuoka, coming in to feed it, looking to peel to the near side. Yeah, playing to their strengths. Yeah. I think that's yeah. what Jamie Joseph has brought to this team. He's put players in positions to thrive. They've really bought into it, and so is the crowd. And obviously, the run that they've gone it hasn't been by fluke whatsoever, Shawnee. Jamie Joseph has come to this tournament with a plan, and they've executed his team so far. OK, then. Everyone ready? Yeah, just saw our stats come ball. on screen then while KT was chatting away. 11 offloads from Japan, zero to South Africa. Just shows how conservative really the South Africans are when they've had the ball. But also on the flip side, look at that possession stat. Probably that's why they had no offloads because they haven't had the ball. But willing to chance their arm, Japan, comfortable with their skills, ball in hands, in contact, causing South Africa all sorts of problems. You have to see from a defensive standpoint, South Africa are just holding up. You know, I've got to pick right. up on their point. I think South Africa know that their defence is where they lay their hat, so maybe they're just playing the long game, waiting for the 50, 60th minute in this game, thinking that Japan might just start to fade like they did against Scotland last week, and then Slow. that's where they'll start getting dividends. Crouch. Bye. It's also worth noting that in their last encounter, 41-7 okay. full-time well, just please. last keep month. Keep in the ground and keep stationary. And South Africa, they're both now leaning the box. So stationary to be within two at this stage. Not a big lean. OK, so, thank you. There's Wayne Barnes with right. some final instructions there. Well, We've got to say it's a, is a no good lean. result for Japan. Oh, going on last month. Particularly by going down so early from a pimpy real body blow early on to go 5-0 down. But the way they've responded with the help of this 50,000 strong Japanese crowd really crowd. lifted them and they played some superb rugby but beware the spring box Once they get a bit of possession and territory they're a dangerous team Declare with a feed Japan going nowhere yes, at please. scrum time they are hanging tough Declare peels away LaRue over to the try score Mapimpi tries to bounce up front and does so choose up Matsushima on that occasion De Yaga. Finally, they get some possession to work with here to clear. It gets messy. De Toy overrunning it. Here's Steph De Toy. Etzebeth. You're off the ball now. Second go. Let go. Let go. Declare. Back short side. LaRue. LaRue. Put down by Leach, who springs to his feet, gets back over the ball, gets a good shot on. But it comes back for the Springboks. Manoa who spent 10 in the bin earlier, following some foul play. Now the flat back kick to touch. It's a good nudge as well off the boot there of Faf de Klerk. Oh, so standing from Faf de Klerk. Just testing Japan on both sides of the rack, coming back to the short side, making their tackles. Japan, but Faf de Klerk wants to slow down. Let's just pin Japan back, put them under a bit of pressure. Let this giant South African line out contest good. and steal. Smart play from the South African scrum half after Clerk.
because we've got a stoppage. Just make sure he's all right, and then we'll find out. Okay. You okay. Yeah, just shot the hoodie again. Going down. A little bit of a rib injury. He's already had one spray around it. Seems good to go. Yeah, real warrior, isn't he? Shot a hoodie. He's been around for a number of years. Obviously played in that game in Brighton. Before. Those are a select to beat the spring box. Okay, who's your receiver? Hold on, there seems to be five here. Hold on. You mean five? You mean five? That will be five. Sorry. Just stand there, just stand in front of me. That is a setup for Japan from up high. Down by two right. through 30 hey, minutes hey, of play. You. They've run it time and time right, again from inside their 22 tonight. The ball in the hands of the number two, Horia. Looking to lead to fades, and it's picked off by South Africa. Duyaga down with it. Penalty now to Japan, though. Contact with a jumper. Yes, yeah, just look at this again. Wayne Barnes saying that Etzebez. There's a little nudge in the back from the Jaeger, I think, just as I think it was Thompson was going up. Well spotted by Barnes. Relieving penalty for Japan. See how difficult it is though to win your own lineup or when you're up against South Africa. And so many tall men, so many options to contest against you. Have we got the line? Four. Yeah, just see this. I think it's best is fine. He's gone up, he's missed. It's just. Just the number five to here, just before we come, you see Luke Thompson pleading that he's been impeded in the air. Who's him? Two metres. And they ruffled South Africa. Shortening the line this time. Same target, only Leach pulls it down, Nagata. Tamura, cross field, he goes with a kick, waits it well, it's off the shoulder there of LaRue, is it? And it will be. The ball back with Japan. It's just a matter of how they want to restart play. Line out or scrum? Michael, knock on, take a scrum or line. Well, it's yeah, definitely line something they've come into this game with, isn't it? Japan using those cro cross kicks time and time again. Yeah, and they've been on the button as well. It's all OK coming in with that plan, but you really need to nail them. LaRue 50 50 three, challenging. Four, but one, two, three, four. four had the option, Japan, to go for the scrum or the line out, and as you'd expect, going for the line out. Shorten the line up again, just four men. Horiet. Pulled in by Moore. So much precision about their work at the set piece, but now it's South Africa with a big tackle in the midfield. It was a gang tackle. And they reload again through Khaleesi. It's going to fall for Japan. Tamura. Not a whole lot happening that way. They straighten through Nakamura. They got it. Tamura, Leach. Gets away from the clear, and now it's knocked out by De Yaga. And his locking partner, Etzebeth, sweeps in and climbs onto it. Sending it wide now, and creating some space as well. Lucanio arm out wide, Mapimpi's on his shoulder, and he tries to slip it out the back, and hits the feet of Mapimpi. And once again, Japan get out of jail. Oh, they bombed it. South Africa to three on one. Just watch the intensity of this defence from South Africa. Khaleesi was the beast that time making the hit, but earlier on in the play, Khaleesi made three brilliant hits. And here he is, straightens up. Matsushima does well. Just a simple pass, needs a simple pass from Am. No chance from a pimpy. Just yeah, give him the I'm ball, he's away and follow on the inside. Uh, off the foot. Chiefs, it was a nice pass though from Willie Rue out to Damien Delende just to get their whole attack started. Absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately, didn't go for them. Just need a bit of composure here, South Africa, on the right end of the field. Physical defence though from South Africa in that grey area around the 40 metre mark. Kalise made some huge hits. Back on his feet. Here we go. You, you, if you you're stay ten, I can make them stay ten. So please take it on. Space, okay? Nakamura is taking on the wrong man there and come off the second way. best. To see him bite down on the mouth guard too, <laughs> right even before he made that hit there, Khaleesi. Ah, he's like, who do you think you are, mate, coming on my channel? Sends him back. 
really good. That's such an inspiration, though, to the Springbok team, isn't he? Sia Khaleesi, been absolutely fantastic all season long. OK, everyone, Japan, here we come. Yeah, it's a big moment now, five, five and a half minutes just before half-time. Hold on, just stand in front From of From a Japanese second. point of view, you've done so well in this stand half, in but you're still behind on the scoreboard. Hold on, hold on. Mongi, are we OK? Can't afford to concede any more points from a Japan point okay. of view. Now step, please, South Africa, just open the, the gap. bench, South Four Africa man. have got to Watch come on. on. They'll make a huge impact. All right. To Leach, it goes over the top, it falls for South Africa, and Manambi looks up and says, I'll take it for a spin, heads towards Japan's post, now with the Yaga. As we near the break, and it's overrun on the outside, penalty Japan, obstruction the call. Yeah, it's another bombed opportunity from South Africa. Just miscommunication, Etzebez comes short, does well initially, Steal Japan's line out. Just sees come short. There's Delande. My apologies to Etzebez. He's run short clearly in front of Pete Steph the toy. And a penalty for Japan to relieve the pressure once again. Just and this is what happens from a South African point of view when you've had very little possession when you do get the pill. Just a little bit off. Timing's off. Communication is off. Just not quite the clinical South Africa we've come to expect. Well, they'll be thinking about the what-ifs in this first 40 minutes. They've had a lot of opportunities, haven't taken. Jamie Joseph, I think if it goes Just to the half, 3-5 down, he would be pretty later, happy. Okay? Keep the gaps in. Starting to really put some pressure on a line-out time here, South Africa. That one, a good one, though, for Japan. Lovishkagni just short of halfway. Thompson. Moore out the back. And they float along to Matsushima. Looks to fend away. And away. No, don't try and buy anything. Please. You got it. That's Tamura. Goes to the air. Colby, they're going to put some more pressure on him. And he takes it sweetly. Cheslin Colby. Now you've rolled and you pushed it into Leclerc with a clever kick over the top, hoping for it to hop right, it won't do so, and it's tidied up by Yamanaka, he kicks to touch. Colby will let Bongi and Benambi take the line out throw. Yeah, finally that man gets the ball in his hands, Colby, but no way to go. Great take, isn't it, for such a small man. Just two replacements. Look at the leap, look at the height, hangs in the hair, keeps his eye on the ball. Just replacement, Michael. And a replacement here for South Africa. Mbanambi has gone to Malcolm Marks and Jersey 16s replacing him. It's the bench early here for South Africa, a couple of minutes out from the half. Yeah, that's a decent replacement though as a hooker, isn't it? Malcolm Marks, absolute powerhouse in the middle of that scrum. Been struggling for a while. Mbanambi. Okay. okay then, all done. Two metres. Okay, watch on. His first throw for the night, Marks oh, to the Yaga. <laughs> and they step quick with a rolling ball here. Once. Japan now with a counterweight. They stop it. And it restarts again for the green and gold. Back from Marks. Squeezes it back. Next time it stops. Getting near the sideline here. Now use it, please! Call to play by Wayne Barnes. Declare, looking to get it out. No, we now picked it up. Away. We picked it up, he bobbled it. Colby. Colby and Falouru loses it. Japan, will they go quick? They won't get a chance to. With Mapimpi yeah, over the he top. Had his hands on a long time. And a couple no, of the ball. handling errors from players we're not side. used to seeing them from creeping in here from South Africa, and you've got to say, another really that good opportunity, Burke. And that's what the pressure does to you. 
South Africans getting a little bit frustrated as well between Barnes. They felt Japan were offside. He's created, created a bit of space, okay, but scrum. player Japan Willie Rulu's Willie LaRue's ability really wouldn't expect that in open field play. He just has a little look up before he secures the ball right there, Willie LaRue. As you said, man, they haven't had many opportunities. He knew he had space to run with, and he's disappointed as himself. Can they create some magic right on half time here? Japan! Good cover defense there from Declare. Went now. across and feet. put no, down no, the runner no, no, no. in heavy fashion. The props have a dip in the midfield. That time round it was Inagaki. Now the clever will kick in behind. Declare comes across to tidy up. He won't need to. It's oh, into man, touch. Confusing. Yeah, just pulling that, the, the strings to Mura. Lots for that man. Rassi Erasmus to mull over at half time. They've been asked so many questions by Japan, but they've stood firm, the South Africans. Up, up we go, up we go. Haven't been at the sharpest with ball in hand, South Africa. Blown a few opportunities, but defensively, <laughs> as it stands, they've stood tall. Driving Mall on the scrummers. Slowly but surely getting on top of the Japanese. Expect this again. As I mentioned earlier, 100% light note, which is just phenomenal from the South Africans in this World Cup. Knox to the middle. He locks it down at the back. Looking at Jason Pelly here, and they've got one too. Number four. Declare. Playing with Japanese money right on half time. They rush up here on the Pupi. They've headed 30 odd metres in the wrong direction, so we'll go back to halfway. It'll be a South African penalty. Now, what's the call? Ah, uh, you know what's coming. A kick to the corner, even though the clock's gone red. Pull out of the corner, catch and drive from this juggernaut. He got another penalty. Difficult angle for Pollard to get any real distance on this kick. Decent return just on the 22, but here we go. Clearly see Luke Thompson under pressure, first. pulling down the ball. Here we are, Japan! Japan, please! Big moment in the game just man. before half-time. On your front man. Can they hang on again? The host nation. Marks with the throw. Right on the 22. The rolling ball has been good from the line-out. Uncontested by Japan, Detroit brings it down. They need a muscle up big time here, Japan. Declare at the back, looking once. around, weighing up options. It's stopped once. Next time round, they'll be forced to use it. The spring box getting closer and closer. Declare, will he take it for a snipe himself? Yes! Call to use it now. Call to use it, still there. With South Africa, Del Linde, almost getting through, still going, it's a repeat effort, so it won't be a try, they're coming back, they're coming back, Wayne Barnes says no! Just listen to the cheer from the crowd, you swear Japan had scored, good carry, is he held? Wayne Barnes, happy that the title was completed and he didn't release the landing. Michael, Michael. It might only be 5-3, but it's still one of the most thrilling halves of rugby we've had in World Cup history. At the break, it is South Africa up over Japan. The score, Let's go, boys. five points Good to three. Coverage from Tokyo Stadium, where it is 
South Africa up five points to three. There's been a couple of opportunities burned by the box in that first 40 minutes of play. The winner of this one will take on Wales next week in semi-final number two. It is a two-point game through 40 minutes of play. That first half on an absolute knife edge across each and every one of the 40 minutes that played out. See Kalise, he was huge in defence for his team. Yutamura guided his side around the park well also. Mark Williams, a quick tip from you if I may. 40 to play from one of these two teams. Oh, Can you see it edging either way? You can't put me on the spot like that. I just <laughs> did. I just did. You'd be a brave man to bet against this South African team. You know, they're on the lead in the score, but they haven't had much possession. Can Japan keep going? They fell away against Scotland in that second half. Have they got the energy reserves, the emotion to keep going? You know South Africa have. Question mark over South Africa. They are not battle-hardened. Last toughest game is the opening game against New Zealand. They've been cruising since seconds, then. Right. Japan, Still they've been in tight games all the way through. Words there of Welsh Test Centurion. Mark Williams will be with us for the remainder of this one. He's on the edge of his seat in the okay, commentary box. Up, so two of those, 50,000 around the ground. Off and running once more. Uh, Japan v uh, South Africa. Our last advantage over. Quarter final of the 2019 Rugby World Cup. Down the field it goes from the spring box. It's Careful big defense from Malcolm Marx. He's got Mall! three men around and Maul's a call. I don't think this one's coming out. And it's going to be a big result for South Africa from the restart. The body height wasn't great for Matsushima. They sweep in, I'm sure Maloney alongside me. Mark Williams, Welsh Test Centurion, sideline is Carl Tanana. Mark nice Williams, a look there at the impact now can Marks can make. Oh, that's just not fair. Okay. That is just brute strength. There's a great kick from Faf the Clerk. Few ricochets off the kickoff, but Matsushima has just run into a green brick wall. Just picks him up, manhandles him, wins a scrum. Big, big moment from out the marks. Slowly. Huge impact. Slowly. Crouch. Shall put some Mike Tyndall there. Bye. Mike looking just a little bit hungover from Set. yesterday's England win. In it goes. Advantage. Now the penalty advantage here for South Africa. They go wide through oh, Pollard over to Colby. Finally, he gets his hands on it, and it's a very near immediate impact from Colby. Declare over the top, looking for Mapimpi. Mapimpi going up, doesn't come down with it. He falls awkward. The ball, and this the penalty. There's nothing is wrong just there. going to be the initial the penalty going, going against penalty. Japan. Yeah. Maybe, just maybe a lucky Number call one. there for Japan. Two things to look at in this, and Colby's limping, his ankle's gone the again. But for the ball. Oh, Wayne Barnes has been, I think, Matsushima's. Yes, his eyes were on the ball, but he's taken Mapimpi in the air and he's landed again, very man. dangerously. You need to take. Yeah, I, okay, it's a penalty. No, we think they're both going for the ball. I, yeah, yeah, I just thought they both going for the ball. I didn't see that as, as clear foul play. I just think that's two players going for the ball. No, you're the one who's kicked it and he's played the ball. So for me, that's not foul play. Well, I have to disagree with Wayne Barnes, I really do. I, yeah, you know, I'm all for referees yeah. just taking sure onus right. themselves, but I think you've got to have, as we know, this day and age, gotta be, yeah, I don't think you agree, don't, don't agree with me, Sean. I will always agree with you. <laughs> You've played 100 tests for your country, but what I will say is this, that he has been Good consistent patience, from minute one in this game, one going back to the 10 dive. Go for goal. Going back to the 10 dive, but a rear at yellow card. We've, we've, we've all looked at it. Okay, yep. Yeah, I think he's it, it, correct that, I think they were both going for the ball, Machishima and Mapimbi, but the fact that Machishima's okay. gone, Hasn't taken the ball, but then taken Mabimbi's chest and he's landed on his back. An interesting call, but they're still going for the penalty, Pollard. Here we go, he's clear, eyes clearly fixed on the ball. Ooh. Well, I, I, yeah, he's not going to be happy. 
Well, for me, he said it's a competition, but I don't think he's anywhere near the ball there, Master Shemi. He's very lucky. They set up this part of the field to attack from right off the restart to the second half. It was a great kick chase. They won the penalty, and Pollard knocks it through. The margin is back to five. Yeah, it's been an efficient start from South Africa, hasn't it? New ball. Good kick from the clerk. Great chase from Arthur Marks. Powerful scrum. And they needed that KT, didn't they? Just to settle them down. Yeah, the thing is for me, Faf de Klerk is really starting to take over this game for South Africa. You already spoke about it just on the pre-kickoff. Tamura, a touch shallower this time. It's grabbed well in the air by the giant Peter Steftatoy. It's okay, he's just digging out. No, no, three, three, no fights. No okay, of course you can pull it backwards. Declare. Okay, now it's available, so use it. Sends it up the park, and Mupimpi makes the tackle. Looking to give a little of his own back there. Horia, swing it round the corner. Some big contact, though, going in from South Africa on the Japanese runners. Thompson, lovely hands initially, and then he misses the tackle. It's with Colby now. Cheslin Colby goes in and... Now with LaRue round the corner for the toy, he grasses it. Down it goes, and it's here with Japan. Fukuoka. We got it. Thompson shapes inside, goes out now, and there are numbers across to the right. Matsushima in the line, dancing his way around the defence, eventually hit hard. No, no. But he made some valuable metres again over the top. Leach gives chase. Mapimpi with the ball, Leach. Flies over the top of Careful him. now. The Mullen lets it fall out the back. Use it. Marks. Takes it two metres past the advantage line. Again, just slowing no, thank you. the tempo here. The screen box scrum half after clear. Oh, that's a booming shot from Ibn Etzebeth. Timed it sweetly and got a shoulder on. Again, Thompson distributing like a fly half. Fukuoka hit hard with a shoulder there from Zidalende. Off your feet now. A whole lot of arms in that one, and it's going to come back Green here for South Green Africa. Stolen. He was rocked Dominic with that shot. Now over to Peter Sector Toy, but we're heading back. I'm clearly in line. You don't need to. And I'm it's in line, another try. Line. Pulled back this time round for the passes to call Dwayne Vermeule and looks up and says, hey. It's another blown opportunity was on. I don't think Willie, Ru Willie LaRue no, no, needed good. to throw the miss pass and in doing so, Wayne Barnes okay, that again doesn't go to the again. TMO, but just the physicality and the line speed. Khaleesi yeah, leading the way. Kobe, brilliant work. But again, just a floating pass. Yeah. Look, there's no man better than Wayne Barnes, right in line. Yes, clearly Sorry, left William Roos, yep. hands forward. And they've got away one again, Japan KT, right in line with you there. He's hard on the angle, was it? I think it was the right call with that miss pass. He, the way he was throwing it, though, just drifted a little bit forward. 17 on Nakajima. He's been absolutely brilliant off the bench. And also in 22, Matsuda is coming on. Yeah, Inagaki, he's been good over the tournament for Japan, but very solid. Oh, he's had a brilliant tournament, the big man cut off of the try under the sticks against Scotland last week. Nakajima made some impact. Okay, this is nice and fair. Yeah. Okay, watch back on, watch on. So just the three points. In this second half, going to Andre Pollard. Five points is the difference. It was Crouch. Bind. Five three at the break. South Africa have led every step of the way, and they might get a chance here to bounce it out a little more. Drive came on, three put it on the floor.
Well, they've cranked it up South Africa in the second half in the opening seven minutes. The power play well, just cannot cope. That Japanese front row, see the replacement popping up. The beast, he's happy. Pollard gives Pollard another opportunity just to take away. They haven't taken their opportunities when it comes to try time. But another chance for Pollard to take a three. Yeah, I think Wayne Barnes, he was on the other side. Ji Wong Ku was the one putting down. That's why the beast was happy because that was the side he dominated. That, you just keep that time like that, it makes it really easy. Wait, yeah, these props the enjoy a bit in, of TV time, don't they? They don't get much yeah. glory, so when they win a penalty, they make sure we know who's won it. It's good work from Montevideo. Big kick this to put South Africa two scores ahead. Pollard. It is an absolute gimme for Andre Pollard. He puts it over, and it is now South Africa 11, Japan 3, 48 gone. Yeah, they haven't been at the fluent best South Africa ball in hand, bottom three or four try line opportunities, but just chipping away with this lead, just keeping this scoreboard ticking over. Need to score next, Japan. Back you going down, Peter. Feeding it to the man who helped win that scrum penalty, Anawarira. Okay, and use it. Hold. And again, Declare with the box hit. Colby loses Backwards, it forward, and here it is forward. with Fukuoka who gets creased by Declare. Little fella on little fella, and it was a win for South Africa on that occasion. Hot air. Stands in the tackle, down low is Detroit. Lynch. Too long. Thompson. Loses it out the bat, it's still with Japan though. Matsuda. Jammed there by Dalende. It's been a rock now the counter arc is big from South Africa as well. It's a bit. Etebeth dragging his team forward. Declare. Malherb. Pollard. Pollard. With a hit and hope. Matsushima is there. Back and off can't green. hang Back on. Off Back green. off green is the call. Back, just hold. Just a the hosts have it. And they go to the air now as well. Pollard is back. It's an easy grab, but he's nailed on the spot by Nakamura. Declare, good quick ball though for LaRue. Colby, Cheslin Colby, bounces out of one. And then finds a shot of a prop, Nakajima, who puts him down. Vermeulen. And away! Two go in and stop him. Declare for Pollard. Deep and out for Arm. A rare kick. Off the boot of the Kanyo arm. Matsushima, they read it well. It was the man who kicked ahead who goes in and makes the tackle as well. And they are upping their work in defence here, South Africa. Oh, it's powerful stuff, isn't it, from the South Africans? Just the intensity and the physicality. Japan are really struggling in this second half. Gone up a level. Just watch the landing for me. has been an absolute rock in that midfield for South Africa. Technically Watch brilliant hit, back on his feet, wins the turnover. And again, just watch the He's green chase, the South African chase, the numbers around the ball. Yeah. Good hit by um, Eight. And Michael. Steph the Toy Eight. throws him Michael. into touch. It's physical, KT. Yeah, they're really up the ante, the South African team Eight. in defence, especially yeah. really connected, getting Thank players in and around the ball. And this is danger time for Japan. So Jamie Joseph has gone to the bench. Amanaki Mafi has come on in Juicy 20, replacing the very impressive Himeno. Is it a case here of South Africa slowing the tempo with ball in hand and then upping it just in defence, just playing at their own pace? I think it's evident right, when lineup. both teams have got their ball inside their own 22, so how Pat the Clerk just slows okay. the ref down, goes to the, the air, but you can't get frantic in their 22, they want the ball alive. Me, but as you say, it's just been so impressive for South Africa when they haven't had the ball in the second half. Just the physicality and the power okay, they brought to the game. Come. Watch out. Yeah. 
Green Again, it's the power game four, four. with Green the Mark. rolling Green ball now. Mark. Away goes Marks. Marks isolated. Go. Marfi over the top. Diaga. For a moment, becomes the world's biggest scrum half. Backwards. He's one of the smallest. To clear. And around goes Diaga. Struggling forward for Gable Meters. Far side for Arm. Daniel Arm, who made those big tackles that put them in this part of the field. Declare. Etube. Just here, yeah, look, Shawnee, just slow it down. Declare will go to the air. Up he goes towards Matsushima. Matsushima, lovely take. And it's a penalty. He's fearless <laughs> through the skies. Just a penalty. Put did lag in the end. Yeah, it was good defence from penalty. Japan. Good penalty, physicality. Yeah. Good. Amanaki Mafia, a few tackles, and then the pimpy. Again, it's a penalty. coach killer. There's no need. You're not contesting. Just, just holds. Just milks the penalty. Matsushima knows what he's doing. Well, he's played international rugby in the 15 jersey. Here's Matsushima. So. He's not shy going up on their ball, but they've been going toe-to-toe -to -toe all night long, haven't they? Matsushima yeah, and the number 11 and Pimpia. It's almost a get square from you're, earlier around yeah, Matsushima. Right, put him on the chops. But he can't play the man in the air still. Okay. Pimpi. Yeah, a couple of changes for Africa in the front row. Kits off is off on Jersey 17. Also, Vincent Kopp in 18, so replacing the beast in one and not and number, in three. And number four. Indictment of Aurera, third most capped Springbok of all time. And Luke Thompson, the 38-year-old, comes from the field. But the Japanese love Luke Thompson. OK. OK. Oh, he deserves a big one with Paul Thompson. Huge effort tonight. Pressure at the front of that line out, and it's going to fall here for South Africa. Step to Toy. No interest and use it in upping the run of play with ball in hand here South Africa. They'll just kick chase. It's all tactical. Down to Murphy, reaches out and grabs it. Kicks off over the top. Grabs Murphy, not the ball. Japan bump it up ahead through Nakajima. Good run from the replacement prop. Touch isolated again, and South Africa get, get no, over down, the breakdown, touch the seal. They got it. It's a rare kick from Matsuda. Chase is good, but the leap from Luru is excellent. He comes down with it, and now... Hands away now! Hands off! It is with Hands the South Africans, back. Declare. Cock. Cock. Moore rides him across the park now, puts him down. LaRue, Kulusi. Declare, up goes Marx. Getting bodies on bodies here, South Africa, and edging ahead. Pollard. Etzebeth, hit well. No, Over the no, top goes Lois Gagne. Loses work, it, now comes away. Okay, There's the no, counter, no, no, the counter's no, no, okay no, though. No, Oh, and Wayne Barnes says, no, we're just going to park and have a scrum Lots feed to South Africa. It was messy at the breakdown. Yeah, counter racking from run. Japan. Brave defence as well, making the hits on the big men. The Jäger, that's the best marks. Yeah, unplayable. Yeah. Just see Lavashkagni being a complete nuisance. Delande back in his feet. Right, then just switches Ready off. You can't switch down. off, otherwise you're going to get a big front rower okay. counter racking. Domino effect on the fact the clerk never switch off when at the front of those rucks. Yeah, I see your point. I see your point. Okay then, scrum. Nice and slow. Okay. This is ominous. Nice and slow again. You for the Japanese, the last scrum we saw. Penalty in front of the sticks. Expect this again. Kits off. Vincent Cock. Powerful scrum, new roll, new front row, fresh front row. Look out for the second shove, Vermeulen at the base, just kick the ball and go for the second drive. Fine! Set! 
Wait. There is the way. And the penalty comes straight away. Straight away. OK, OK, he wants to see if his player's OK, and I'm more than happy. OK. okay. There we are. Oh, we're OK. Hold on, hold on one second. And that's where you've got from a South African point of view. You lose two world-class scrummagers, Matt Herber, Matt Awara, and you bring on Vincent Cock and Stephen Kitsoff, and the power's just too much for that okay, Japanese front row. An easy penalty for Wayne Barnes to decide on. Interesting to see whether Pollock goes head, for the sticks one to floor. well within his distance, or does he go for the corner? Now the tee's on. They want to play a football, man. I'll find so, you, in a you know, these blokes already said they're going to put the power on a suffocating at the moment in Japan. So, well, we might have a bit of respite here, but just the energy off the bench, you knew it was going to come Wait, from South Africa. And now they put the foot on we the might throat. Have missed that. We might have missed that one. Yeah. But can Jamie Joseph conjure for his team? They've got 22 minutes to play. They are down by eight. It might be a few more in a moment with the way this guy's been striking them tonight. Andre Pollard. And he, this time around, drags it away to the left. No harm done for the home side. Michael. Yeah, so that one for Japan. Something. Pollard's been in such good kicking form this evening. It's really tight. Distance not an issue, just pulls it. Brief respite for this Japanese team. To mid-range restart. Taken down by Itzebet. Marks with the carry. Spins his way past Nakajima. Pollard. This time around, they go to the left hand side. Looking for Mapupi, who goes up. Can't, can't down with it. Matsushima has it now. Matsushima. Not a whole lot happening there. South Africa come up well with their. Defensive setup. Horia, Horia, risky from in front of their own six. It's Etzebeth driving through with a tackle. No real advantage here for now. Japan, but they will go away by the boot. Will they? No. Yes. No. They shaped the kick. They went we on go, the and then We're after all on, that, the by the says we'll head back for the initial knock-on from Magazoli Mupimpi. Yeah, I'm not sure how much of an advantage a scrum is no to Japan. They're under so much pressure, but. Again, Pollard going aerial, really testing out Matsushima 15. on the right-hand side. Just 15. knocked on by the Pimpy. Well, Japan needs someone to do something. The guy just coming onto the field now is definitely there in Jersey 23, Lomano Lameki. And he's going to replace Yamanaka in Jersey 15. Seen a lot of him in the World of Sevens as well, haven't we? Carlton Arna, he's lethal. Absolutely electric, and creates something from nothing, and just feel now's the danger period for Japan coming in to the last call. They needed, yeah. they needed something special to get up. I think it's a good contest. Let's go, Zippy, Zippy, Zippy. 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 Zippy to face Wales next week after they scraped home by the barest of margins this afternoon against France. Never in doubt that game, Sean. Never in doubt. Fine. Well, this game still is very much in doubt. Eight points the difference, 20 minutes to play. Japan looking to close strong, but the scrum has started just to come under so immense much, pressure too much it's this way it's that way we're just going to slow this down yeah. we're going we're to take ball going to get it more controlled okay, get out of okay. Oh, you don't need to get up. just just <laughs> control please just engage yeah. and wait Watch it, yeah. engage Watch it. and wait Watch thank you from south africa's point of view it's all about patience they know they've got the shove they know they've got the upper hand in the scrum it's just about the timing okay. of that shove as it comes in, Nagari did well, the Japanese Control. scrum half there. Engagement. Just held on to the ball. Control. Maybe try and milk a free kick for your side or penalty because he knows. And if it does get in, this ball needs to be straight from shot a hole at hooker, straight to channel one. Get that ball in and out of the scrum as quickly as possible. Five. Gone. 
Japan locked that one down well. Now they set their back line alight. Fukuoka reaching up and gets absolutely creased by Billy LaRue, who comes through with a huge stop shot. And now they pile into the breakdown, looking for the turnover. Still with Japan, though. Somehow they hang on. No, 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 there's players in the way. No, no. Yeah, I thought that was a run. A lining, a kicker or a runner. He needs help. Vermeulen this time around throws himself over the other side of the ruck. I'll go by the boot to the air. The chase from Murphy. Rafaeli as well. Murphy with a tackle. Declare sliding across the pole as he Polo caught shot. Yes, he was. More when a touch too high. Now Pollard in behind will come back to the mark. And you would think over the shoulder. It'll be another shot at the poles for South Africa. Yeah, it's a good smart play from the cook. They know Scarf, big man on tall man, so difficult for Moore to get low. The old seat belt tackle yeah, is good. commonly known these days. It's been a bundle four, of energy Africa. all game. As neat, Fath the Clerk really has, but just going back to the hit from LaRue, the line speed from South yeah, Africa, listen, just suffocating Japan, KT, in the second half. Oh, well, they are, they really, really are, South Africa. You just see there, RG Snyman has come on in Jersey 19, replacing the man Mountain. He oh, bet Etzebeth has done his job for 60 minutes. I think he does a bit of guns, doesn't he, Etzebeth? KT, you've been in the gym with you, I think, mate? Four days a week. Well, we have had some fun across the pool games and now into our first weekend of quarterfinals. Three thrilling games have been played out already. Semi-final number one. Yeah, that last scrum's that a lot better because you're patient. The All Blacks taking on England. So, Wales laying yeah. wait so for the winner that of this clash. Both sides, really good then. Semi-final number two. Next week in Yokohama, just down the road. Andre Pollard just tugged his last shot at the sticks. This one about as straight as it gets. Pollard sneaks it inside the right hand upright. And three more go on the score sheet for the box. Been a very, very impressive second half from South Africa. No minutes. tries, but just kept that scoreboard ticking over that man there. That one just squeezed in inside the left upright, but he'll take it. It's on the board. And now Japan really looking need to score two tries. Down to Colby. Colby with the reverse suplex there. He's relax, relax, got himself relax. a penalty as well for his efforts. How about this from Cheslin Colby? He's 170 centimetres tall, and he says, Up you go, son. Oh, he's just and over you go, Kenki Fukuoka. Yeah, he's been carrying that ankle that he rolled earlier on in the tournament. We've seen him all day. He's just been, hasn't been comfortable in that. He just gets such an awkward position there. You see his left ankle. He's had one across the scrum cup as well for Chelsea Colby. Really don't want to see a player of that quality. He's actually no lifted up quickly up and thrown thing. him off his back. Yeah, it's not Allah, George enough. North and Israel Falau back in 2013. The line series that was. It was. See ya. See ya, we've worked really well together. Yeah, hopefully it's, it's yellow card the not too bad. You can see it's heavily strapped. I think any doubt if you're Rassi Erasmus, you get that man off the park. Some ice on the knee ankle. He is incredible, though, isn't he? For a man so small, KT, the power and the explosiveness. I mean, it's great to see a small man yeah, in today's like game being to stand up these giants. Oh, he's been absolutely brilliant all year long, not only for the Springboks, but for his club up in Europe as well. Into this tournament, his footwork, as you spoke about, is just so electric, and that's what makes him so dangerous. Just make sure they're ready. We talk about the Japanese crowd with the South African supporters are starting to find their voice as well. They're enjoying themselves, aren't they? Okay. You look at the bench Good actually for South Africa. No real Franz Steen, by no means winger. 
And then just Herschel Janchi, oh, just two backs down. on the bench for the South Africans. Janchi's quick enough, I suppose, to play on the wings of scrum half by trade. Or you could sort of bring Steen on into the centres and move Arm <laughs> onto the wing. But keeping him out there, Colby. Good contact. Good contact. From De Jager in the middle. There's a mile on now. He's going to step to two. It's consummate at the moment from South Africa. It's clinical. They take it 10 with a rolling ball. Marks at the back. They'd love another penalty. Still with the box big men. They've taken it 20 now. Marks patient at the back. Still they come. To Japan concede. They're getting closer and closer, Marks. Still going. Now Marks didn't clear. It is absolute precision. It's surgical. And it's another five for South Africa. Ah, oh, it's a springbok machine. A green machine, the pack. Just complete another power from the spring box. Again, another lineup one clean, but just look at the control. Mark the marks. He's the driver at the back, but the men in front just keep low body weight. He breaks. Brilliant timing from Marks. He's had a massive impact on this game. And this man faff the clerk on his shoulder. Over the top, he's under the sticks. It's too powerful, KT. Oh, the structure, absolutely brilliant from South Africa. Faf de Klerk really does deserve that. As we see the conversion from Andre Pollard, could have thrown that over, but just feel now that might be game set and match South Africa. Look like they're going through. Oh, he's been immense for me, Max, since, since he's come, in, come on the field defensively. An absolute There's rock. so much noise in my ear. Just keep talking to me if we need to, OK? And the dam is broken. They put up a big fight, Japan. Just too powerful, this Springbok team. Change as well with Diaga coming off after that big effort. Lost her on, he gets from a mountain of work himself. Diaga, the top tackler tonight for South Africa. He will sleep well. Here with the Clare. <laughs> taken back. Taken back is the call. Mostert on the park and giving chase. Matushima can't get his hands on that. Now Mostert I'm gets on his I'm mitts on, touch. on it. In a touch it goes and it'll be a scrum. Japan to feed. Yeah, the big scrum. man, he's putting a big, big shift. Line the Jaeger throws his partner at the But look at the men, they've got to come on. They're even bigger. Mozart and R.G. Yeah. Snyman. Where do you go if you're a Japanese forward? Where's the respite? And that real quality as well in the back row. Francois Lowe coming on between Bermuda, who's had another big name, big game in the eighth slot for South Africa. Really cranked it up in the second half. Sure, what a quality outfit they are. You talk about the best to win, Bermuda, which is always taking his lead. And no respite, all right, as you spoke about. Francois Lowe comes on and juicy to anyone. Good luck. Replacement prop, Nakajima. Looks like he's going to be forced from the field, which will bring Kita Inagaki back onto the field. It's a shame he's had a big, big tournament. Nakajima really has the impact off the bench. He's been sensational. Sad end to his tournament, but he can hold his head high. Okay, watch on. as well, but Leach has it. He clears it beautifully for Ivalu. Ivalu with a repeat effort into the 22. Finally, Japan gets some ball on it. There's some good field position they've got to work from as well. Penalty, Japan. Let the ball go, please. They go for the corner, but I would have probably taken a quick tap and go. Just thinking it's so difficult, Japan. That came from their own line-out, the ball was contested, it just bobbled into 
Japan's hands, but they're going for the corner, going to back. Oh, well, they're going to back themselves from the driving wall away. They've got a trick play up this, you will see. We're all or nothing now for Japan in the 13 to go. South Africa on the line now. Yeah. Line jaws, okay, line. Yeah, just see the contest, just a bobbling ball. Leach does well, he's had another big game out of the back door to the big fellas. Just caught. Just, just caught ones. on the wrong side and Mark's coming in from the side. Shot Horia. Uh, with the throw. Snapped away though by South Africa and Colby goes through. Falls on it and secures the ball for South Africa. Just be careful on the floor. Thank you. The line out. Now okay. matching their scrum. It. It's gone to another level in this second 40. That one won't find touch down to Fukuoka. Into Murphy, who loves to carry. Amanaki Murphy. Put down by Peter Steph to Toy. Now you're off your feet. Now you're off your feet. They got it. Ivalu again. Touch high. Nope. Ripped out. Backwards. Ripped away by Khaleesi. Yeah, now Mostert Joe finds Joe. Pollard who gets through. Floats it wide to LaRue. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Mapimpi is in again. Marcus Oli. Mapimpi. M squared equals South Africa. Plus five. Oh, it's clinical from South Africa. Physicality. From the back row, Khaleesi and Francois Loga force the turnover. And then you see injection of pace from Andre Pollard. There's a steal five metres out. We said one man left, Malcolm Marks on Steph the Toy. Steals the ball, but just watch this. Physicality, strip the ball. He's fighting for the yards, comes through, but just watch the impact of Andre Pollard. And the pass is sublime to Willie Rulu. Times it well, and the pimp, he's still got a lot of work to do. To do. Machim Machishima. Trying his hardest to get back, but he's too powerful, too quick, and too strong. Game over, KT. A great defensive try. As you spoke about the defense at the lineout, the defense from the captain to turn the ball over, the attack from Andre Pollard with yep. the beautiful ball and the great finish from Mpimpi. That is a great rugby 15 aside try. He can't stop scoring. Marcus Oli Mpimpi, that's his fifth against Japan, Mark Williams, in their last two games. Oh, he's a finisher, isn't he? He's got great pace, power, as you saw then. Shrug off Matsushima. Colby gets all the wraps, and rightfully so on the other wing, but he really is a quality international winger. Pollard... Hangs that one out to the right, and... It is now 21 straight points for the Springboks. Yeah, it's just been... Master set piece masterclass really from South Africa with them without the ball just wait for them in the second half. Off, and then when you've got finishers them. like the Pimpy and Colby on your wings, eventually the physical bat when Japan have had is gonna tell. LaRue away for Dalende. Shallow. Leach grabs it. The match won't go their way, but boy oh boy, the locals would love a Japanese try to leave them smiling in their post World Cup. They have been the darlings of the tournament. Love is Scogney. Had Lamecki out wide. Um, didn't look to come in. 13 green. Correctly, but it's play on anyway. Still in. Still in. The steal is OK. Back you go, Dan. To clear. Shallow again. Back off His green. Play tonight on. has really brought rewards in this second half in particular. Thank you, thank you. Tanaka. Unlucky Tanaka. Another crowd favourite in Japan. 
And behind it goes, kicking away possession, and Pollard reads it and takes it away. Up the middle, and now bumps his way into Moore. Declare loses it. Straight by Ovali. His fourth carry since coming on. Yes, he is holding on, scrum, knock on by nine. Yeah, he's felt that one, Pollard. He's still, as you can see there, on his right knee. Big collision with Luke Moore. A little bit feeling his right shoulder. Just watch Kai, watch Luke Moore. Bang. Oof. Big, big collision. Yeah, he wrapped his arm, didn't he? As I said. Yeah, perfect. Watch that. Thanks, Tom. Some big contact going in on Pollard. Well, it'd be tough to pick a player of the match in this contest, but Makazoli Mapimpi put his name in front of his selector's nose with his performance. He has been busy all night long. Here are his numbers. Five defenders beaten, two tries. 102 metres, always good to crack the ton with his six carries. And he's also crossed twice for South Africa. He scored the opening okay. try. Everyone OK? Scored the most recent one as okay, well. OK, scrum, Japan ball. And has now scored 13 tries in his last yeah, 12 really tests. Yeah. He's been outstanding tonight, but can be physically with the ball, defensively outstanding. Okay, okay. Two tries to his name, two brilliant finishes. Okay. And there, Fathic Clegg's had a big, big game as well. Wait for the ball! Stay behind it, get behind Murphy peels away. Bangs his way up the park, low over the top, looking for the steal. Has he got it? Hands away, hands away, hands away, hands away, hands away, Peter, 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 hands away. No, it's, yes, yes, it will come back. It's Peter. Initials with Japan, eventually it falls for South Africa, and they really crank it up late here. Matches. Kicks off. Still in. Five to play. Yanchis. Happy to go. The Fuff to Clerway. Slow, steady, up the park via the boot. Get the chase on. Make the tackle. LaRue does just that. Now get that defensive line set. They've delivered it with Ball clinical precision in the second half. And again, it brings a result. You've come from their side, not even your side. Yeah, vintage Francois Lowe. He's won a penalty of the second, contact area, a few phases ago. That time, just the threat of that man around the breakdown. Just watch what happens to the Japanese support just players. Just take a second. Just, take a second. just come in from the side here. He's down early. Good tackle from Khaleesi. Gets a big man down early. Just nowhere near through the gate, clearly from the side. Vimpy de Van der Vault. Absolute vulture on the break down that man, Francois Lowe, superb technically, timing, one of the best in the world it has been for a number of years. Well, it's almost a touch of sadness that we carry with us that Japan are no longer going to be competing in their home tournament they have delivered so many memorable moments across the pool stages knocking off scotland and ireland that man jamie joseph has helped elevate them to be the sixth ranked side in the world right now oh, it's been an incredible tournament from the hosts it really has and as you see jamie joseph can be immensely proud of his team they've come up short tonight against a very, very powerful South African team, but what colour they brought. Style of play has captured everyone's imagination how the game should be played. But South Africa, two-time World Cup winners, showing exactly what you need to win knockout football. At what point do they stop being an emerging nation and then start creeping into the top bracket? Well, I think that stopped. 
if I'm honest, Shawnee, he's six in the world. You've not over Scotland and Ireland. Does that gap please? Beat South Africa four years ago in the last World Cup. They're no longer for me, Japan, a tier two nation. I, and after this World Cup, you just think rugby's going to go from strength to strength in this country. Brought down by Moss. The rolling ball has been supreme in this second half. Use the ball, around, use the ball. It's checked by Japan. Yanchis. Watch him get to three traffic. Dan Linde. Into the 22. Yanchis. Kitsoff. The tackle goes in on Kitsoff. Made by Leach, the captain. Stain. Fran Stain. Pollard, lovely hands over to LaRue. LaRue for Khaleesi. Khaleesi looked up, he saw some open acres in front and forgot to grab the nut. Oh, the skipper was in, his eyes lit up. Brilliant from LaRue, knows exactly... Don't think he was in Khaleesi, I think the cover was there. Brilliant kick from Pollard, who's pulled the strings well in the second half. Ball, like, really LaRue, really clever, knew exactly where he was on the field. Knew he, if he'd taken the ball, he was going to be smashed into touch. Fukuoka at first receiver. Matsushima. Matsushima. Delende has just been an animal no, in defence tonight. Nice pick. Now, Messi. Lost and with South Africa. Number nine. Counter up was good. Yeah, you mentioned Delande in midfield. He's been outstanding along with his partner, Am. Um, the Pimpy has been absolutely superb. Two tries out on our left wing. But my MasterCard player of the match is that man there. Really good. Faf the Clerk. Heartbeat of this team. Brought energy. Kicking game was outstanding in the first half. Threat with ball in hand. Made his tackle. Just a reading of the game. It was superb. Yes, he's had an armchair ride with this South African pack in front of him. But he wouldn't shirk the physical contest either. The small man topped it all off with the try, so a big night from the South African scrum half and the massacre play of the match. Crouch by Set. That way, that way, that way. There's, no, no, there's movement this way, there's an early engage that way, so let's all start again. Vincent Cock not happy with Wayne Barnes's interpretation there. As we creep inside the final 60 seconds, Rossi Erasmus can still make history here by being the first side ever to lose a pool game and go on to potentially win the World Cup. Jamie Josephs right in his home tournament will come to an end, but he has done Set. an incredible job with his side. 30 seconds to play, Yanchis, Del Ende, Del Ende, thumping his way up the park, low for Mossert. Had the leap up to no, pull no, that one no. down, Yanchis. Second man. Kits off. Rides the tackle, Yanchis, Hulisi. Yanchis again, Pollard, lovely ball for Delande. Mpimpi, Mpimpi, Mpimpi bouncing his way into Matsushima and he stopped him, did in his tracks. Cock. And away! Back you go, back eight. Yanchis, wide, numbers, LaRue, quick for Stein, Franz Stein. 
Lovely low tackle there from Matsuda stopped him. Mostert looking up through the midfield with Peter Sefter Toy. He goes out the back. Pollard, lovely ball for Arm. The Pimpy desperate on the far side for a double hat trick against Japan. RG Snowman yeah. dropped heavy. I'm not sure if they're looking for the bonus point, South Africa, Wait, but it, the full time the gone, park. has gone, and Andre Pollard says, that will do us. We're off to the semis. The Springboks, too good for Japan here. The Cinderella story comes to an end. It was 5-3 at the break, full time, South Africa, 26, Japan 3. Well, it was a second half World Cup knockout rugby masterclass from the two time winners. Really was. Game 5 3 at half time on a knife edge. You're thinking, can Japan pull 40 more minutes out of this extraordinary World Cup? But no, the juggernaut of South Africa came to town and just absolutely suffocated that man's team, Michael Leach. But they can hold their heads up high. They have brought so much to this tournament. It's been an absolute privilege to witness the pool games, what they've done. Still smiles on their faces, which is incredible. But South Africa just defensively too good. Set piece wise too powerful. Well deserved victors, South Africa. Full house here at Tokyo Stadium. Plenty of South Africans on hand as well to witness their team rumble home in the second half. Jamie Joseph. Gets a chance now just to soak it all up and maybe just take stock as Fumiaka, Fumiaki Tanaka. Well, he's all emotion. He's normally all smiles, but tonight it's just too much for the host nation. Well, they put so much into this, the Japanese players, supporters as well. They'll be trending. Really got behind their side. Physically and emotionally, the Japanese group have put everything into this tournament. Maybe, maybe, just maybe their final was last week against Scotland. To qualify and beat from the group stages. They've been superb, as we mentioned. Style of play has been superb. Brilliant to watch. Played with a smile on their face. Back their skills. And respect from the South African players. They know how difficult that was tonight. Yutamura. And Michael Leach. Now just absorb it all up. from him in just a second right now though it's South Africa South African captain Sia Khaleesi that was absolutely brutal wasn't it honestly it was exactly what I expected uh, sorry we knew exactly what uh, Michael Leach and his boys were gonna bring today you know and they they said the I mean the battle throughout the whole week they told us exactly they're coming for us in our set piece and it took us a, it took a lot out of us to you know to keep on fighting but yeah credit to my boys we fought we grinded out and yeah they were playing in front of this beautiful crowd here and the people of japan have been amazing you guys should really should be proud of your team they you know they gave it everything out there now just tell me you talk about how physical it was but your defense really made a number of tackles made a lot of turnovers how much was that a focus for you coming into this week yeah, we, we knew how fast they can play the game and, and they play a, a style that's fearless, you know, and, and that's exactly what they said they would do this week and they didn't shy away from it today. So we knew where to get up, especially when uh, we're one man down, you know, I'm really glad the boys, we didn't concede a lot of points there. And that's what we pride ourselves in, you know, hard work and defense, you know, as in, in attack as well, we just work hard as hard as we can. You speak about the support of the Japanese crowd, you got a lot of supporters here as well, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of South African people come out in numbers. Thank you, Amos, Sabulela. And yeah, to the Japanese people as well who've been supporting us. I regard it for Amos for everything.
Congratulations on the win. Good luck in the uh, World Cup semi-final cap. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.